Hello YouTube, it's your boy Mike coming at you again with another video and today the video topic today is going to be do you need game to pick up foreign women and um, and just from my experience from being to uh, several different countries uh, being to you know going to Thailand, going to Brazil, going to Colombia um, you know and you know a few other countries as well um, it's my experience that um, you can be more so in foreign countries. You can be yourself versus in the United States where you actually would need some type of like game or pickup, that kind of thing. So I would say in general, you just need to have, um, you know, just understand like, you know, the basics, you know, and then you're pretty much good after that. What I mean is you just for the most part, you just got to know how to kind of for the most part, introduce yourself Um you know, all the basic stuff that most, I would say, nice guys would kind of know anyway. It's just that in the States, you know, basic introdu introduction and also just, um, you know, being polite and that kind of thing is looked down upon a lot of times by the women in the United States versus the other countries. They're a little bit more appreciative of you carrying yourself that way. And, and, and really, to be honest with you, it's, in my opinion, the culture there is a little bit more relaxed because in many cases, in most of these countries, Everything is kind of tilted in favor of the man. Um, you know, it's more patriarchy across the sea, you know, overseas and also in other foreign countries versus in the U.S. and parts of the West. It's almost like the opposite. It's almost like a matriarchy. So you have to kind of do the opposite in which you have to kind of you constantly have to cater to the women. You constantly have to monitor yourself, making sure, hey, did I ask too many questions? Was this, you know, too intrusive? Um, when should I go in for the kiss? Um you know, you, 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 you know, you're asking like, you know, when should I call or have to get the number? Like all these thoughts are in your head because you're constantly like evaluating yourself and using techniques and um, versus in other countries, in my opinion, everything happens a little bit more naturally. You don't really have to um, think that deeply about how to approach a woman. For the most part, if she's interested, all you have to really do is just, you know, approach her, introduce yourself you know, ask for a number, especially like her WhatsApp number. And if she's interested, most of the time she'll just give it to you. You don't have to play all these other games. You don't have to. Sometimes I see videos about, you know, how to approach a woman, you know, keep your posture a certain way. Make sure you're, you know, keep eye, ca you know, eye contact with her when you ask her for a number. All these little small details that in foreign countries you really don't need. All you really need is, um, if anything, just the, you know, just the courage, just the you know, approach the woman. And in many cases, um, most of the women are going to be very, very polite. You know, um, if anything, you know, if they don't really like you at most, they might just, you know, um, you know, they might just at worst, which is rare, just walk off or that, that kind of thing. For the most part, they, they tend to be a, a whole lot, uh, you know, tend to be more polite than they would in the States. And I, I suspect there's reasons for this as well, because in the States, you know, if you look at the women, you know, you know, wrong or, you know, you make her feel, you know, if you look at a woman too long, she feels uncomfortable, she can call the police on you. There's always some type of like white knight or somebody there kind of, um, for the most part, you know, take up for her or, or tell you to back off that kind of thing versus in other countries. Um, a lot of times, um, the police are kind of corrupt. No, a lot of people don't really trust the police. They don't really deal with police that often. And, and also a lot of times, the men there are somewhat spoiled by the women and um, and the women there, you know, because there's lots of crime and there's not that many job opportunities. They tend to have a little bit more respect for a man, especially a man that can provide and also men that can protect. So they, they tend to be a little bit more polite with the men. So when you're approaching them, um, they're not going to give you the same type of attitude that you would in the States. In the States, even if you're polite, you know, in some cases being too polite might actually you know, trigger the woman to kind of have some type of attitude with you. Sometimes they're rolling their eyes at you, giving you a very, you know, stink type of look. Um, you know, this, this kind of thing, which makes men very um, nervous and anxious about approaching women in the States because in many cases, you know, it, you know, as a lot of YouTubers would you tell you, it's like, you know, if you're not really, if you don't really look like Leonardo DiCaprio, Denzel Washington, or if you're not like a well-known guy that has status or something like that, um, a lot of times they, the women are kind of, um, 
tilting towards either putting you in the friend zone or, you know, being somewhat rude to you unless they really know you or your work or something like that. So it just makes it a very um, negative type of environment, you know, to date in and, and that kind of thing. And then the other thing is, you know, when you go to clubs and that kind of thing in the U.S., a lot of times the women are just there just to hang out with their friends. They have several girls with them. Uh, when you try to approach, the girls are, are vetting you. They're, you know, giving you very defensive postures as if they don't want you there so it makes it just very very um uncomfortable and very hard to approach women and get dates and that kind of thing and, and especially now with social media a lot of women don't have to go out to get the attention so all they got to really do is go on instagram pull up some of these apps tinder that kind of thing and they could just be extra picky and, and as you know a lot of um some of the podcasts have already mentioned um in many cases women you know for the most part they consider most men to be unattractive and in addition to that they're looking for a certain phenotype of man when they go on these apps and that kind of thing so in many cases you won't even really get the chance to really um even approach them or even you know talk to them on on the apps and that kind of thing so it just makes it um very very difficult versus you know if you go overseas let's say like you go to Colombia, you go to brazil you got beautiful women walking back and forth through malls on the beach that kind of thing and it's just very very approachable and then when you approach them like i said very very polite you know very polite postures you know they're you know for the most part willing to hear what you got to say even if they're not really interested they'll at least be polite enough to just hear what you got to say and then um for the most part like I said, if they're not interested, they'll just walk off or, you know, at worst, they might, you know, maybe maybe they might give you a number, but then they just kind of flake on you or something like that. But for the most part, it's not it's very easy and natural to approach women there. Even if you're a guy that doesn't really like approach women, you have apps there as well, even though you got to be very careful with the apps, because there have been several people that have been drugged off using like Tinder or sometimes a girl will set the guy up. And say like, oh, meet me at this place. Meanwhile, she has a boyfriend. Some other guys they're trying to rob them. So you got to be very, very careful with the, with the apps, specifically Tinder. Um, there are a few more apps I'm sure that are probably okay, but I would say this: for if you do happen to use the apps, my my best advice would be make sure that that you you know when you when you do arrive there and you tell the woman to meet to meet you make sure it's in a very public place or place you can kind of control like maybe at, maybe at your hotel the restaurant at your hotel or restaurant nearby where you can kind of control the situation you don't want to go out somewhere she recommend you go out to some random place you go out there she has people waiting on you that's sometimes or something like that now i don't want to you know scare scare you guys i don't want to make you think that um the women out there are just are just plotting and they're out to get you and that, and that kind of thing. Because that's, that's just not true. These, these type of women, uh, they're not the majority, but you still got to be you still gotta be careful. I have met you know, a few women off apps and that kind of thing. But in many cases, I've met them at a public place. There's several people there, that kind of thing. Not to say that that's 100% you know, protected as well. Because in Medellin, there's been some robberies that have happened in, in, open, in, in broad daylight with several people there. They've been robbing like restaurants and that kind of thing. So you still got to be kind of careful. So, you know, overall, what I just want to say is, um, in, in general, no, you don't really need, you don't really, you don't really need game, at, uh, the type of so-called game or techniques you need, most nice, nice guys in general, um, the techniques you have formed, just even from the U.S., for even just dealing with the flaky women, the flaky disrespectful women, such as just, you know, just a little techniques you picked up as far as just introducing yourself, getting her number, um, you know, not blowing up her phone as soon as you get the number. Just the little stuff you picked up just from that, in my opinion, is more than enough to go overseas and meet somebody. And I, I believe that I would say maybe about close to about 90, 95%, 99% of men, you already have more than enough skills or techniques that you need to actually pick a woman overseas. They're very easy to approach and it all really happens naturally. You don't have to ask yourself, should I, you know, for the most part, you know, should I kiss her now? Uh, you know, and uh, should I take out here? You know, am I uh, doing too much for her? For the most part, it it, it all happens naturally. Um, and I, I really feel that most guys, if you just take the leap and just go overseas and try it, you'll 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 see how much more easier and natural it is. If anything, if you go overseas and it feels unnatural, I really feel it's more because of the um, I don't even want to call it traumas, but just the nasty experience if you had in the U.S. is kind of had a negative effect on you to the point where even now overseas where 
the market is ripe, you're still a little kind of hesitant and nervous and anxious about certain things. And it's mostly because of all the um, nasty attitudes and, you know, the contempt for men in the states, like all of that has really has, has affected you. So I would say when you go out, out to another country, leave all that, all those thoughts you had about women in general and all those bad experiences, I would say leave those in the States or, the, or, or to the men who are listening who are in the UK, leave those in the UK, or you're in West Virginia, wherever country you come from, leave it in that country, come into, the, come into these foreign countries such as, like I said, Brazil, Brazil, Colombia, uh, Cuba, Panama, uh, Thailand, the Philippines, uh, Ukraine, Belarus, you know, um, you know, Nigeria. So if you go to these foreign countries, I would say come, come with an open mind. And uh, if you feel you know, if, if you feel the the urge to want to approach a woman, you see a woman that's you know attractive, I would say go ahead and approach her, and um, and you know best of luck. And you will clearly see that there is a complete difference in regards to approaching women overseas versus in the U.S. And I think I'm gonna end it on that note. Um, until next time, this is your boy Mike, aka Traditional Woman Lover, signing off.